Hi, I'm Don. Today, we're glazing skin and chrome. And I hope after watching this video, you no longer suck at glazing. <laughs> Just kidding. But in this video, I'll show you how I glaze the skin and the chrome and I'll give you tips so that you'll be better at glazing or painting via glazes. Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my channel. This channel is supported by all these awesome brands. Also, special thanks to Army Painter, The Army Painter, for making this video possible. First off, pardon for the harsh thumbnail, like suck and, and, and like sucking at glazing and all that stuff. But I want you to be more comfortable at glazing after watching this video. So first, what is glazing? I think to put it in the simplest terms, glazing is layering with semi-transparent paints. You may thin down your paints with water or medium so that you produce glaze paints or semi-transparent paints. You may also use washes, inks, speed paints, or even oil washes or oils to glaze your miniature. It doesn't matter what paint type you are using or even what acrylic paint brand you are using as long as you thin down your paints so that they are semi-transparent or you use paints like inks and washes and speed paints and they are translucent, you are practically glazing. Fat and thin glazes. Well, these terms I use so that it's easier for me to explain to my patrons or you guys, my subscribers, on what I'm doing on a specific video. Because it's kind of difficult to see glazes on video or even in pictures. Fat glazes are simply more opaque but still semi-transparent and thin glazes are very transparent mixes. Fat glazes can be not so thin paint or Think of speed paints or even inks. Thin glazes are washes or very thin down paints. Very thin down by like roughly around 5 parts water or even more and 1 part paint. I almost always apply fat glazes first and then let this dry and then continue to blend this with thinner glazes. A glaze is thin if the first layer or the first pass is not that visible, but still visible. So you'll see the actual effect of a thin glaze after two coats. So can you use washes and speed paints for glazing? Yes, you can. This paints, this naturally <laughs> like transparent paints like washes, inks, and speed paints, are perfect for glazing down. But let me explain glazing down and glazing up. There's no such thing as glazing up and glazing down. But I had to use these terms so that it's easier for me to explain to my followers. Glazing down is like glazing that adds more shade or darkens your painting. So you could glaze down with darker base colors or shade colors. Glazing up is similar to layering up. You're building up layers, transparent layers on top of each other towards your highlights or your brightest color. Glazing up is trickier than glazing down since glazing down is simply like adding shade to your painting. But glazing up, if you don't do it properly, can look chalky or can... Hmm, well, it doesn't really look good if you don't do it well. But once you get the hang of like glazing down and glazing up, you'll produce really nice contrast and blending and you'll produce better miniatures. Now let me share you my top tips when it comes to glazing. Like I said at the start of the video, glazing is basically layering with semi-transparent paints or translucent paints. Meaning, since glazing is similar to layering, although you're working with transparent paints or semi-transparent paints, the more colors or gradations you use, the better your glazing will be. 
another tip is that glazes is very like it's a powerful tool especially if you complement it with proper layering do not like do glazes without proper layering or sketching this is why my main painting technique i like to call sketch and glaze without the sketch or a solid layer underneath you'll have a hard time building up your glazes into nice solid colors simply put you have to do proper layering or sketching first before you blend this layering with glazes. It's difficult to show the buildup of glazes on video or even in pictures. So it's important to note that you should let each layer dry before you apply another pass of glazes. If you continue to apply glazes on top of wet surface or wet paint, you might produce nasty textures. So how do you know if your glazes or your glaze paint are too thin, if you thinned it too much? Basically, if you apply the glaze paint like around three times or three passes and you don't see the result, you don't see like degradation or buildup of colors, your paints are too thin down. You should be able to see the results or the effect of your glazes in just a couple of passes. Another tip if you're not really that good or you don't want to spend too much time on glazing with the brush, you could glaze with the airbrush. Glazing with the airbrush is simply adding a little bit of medium to your paint so that it has more transparency and it can be very quick and fun. However, you should have good airbrush control. Also, some people might refer to glazing as filtering especially in fine scale modeling they have a similar result but it's a like slightly different process glazing is simply applying the paint on any area of the miniature may it be crevices or the raised areas of the miniature but filtering similar to lazy washes wherein you apply the wash all over the miniature are more similar Another tip if you're still learning how to glaze or you're still not that comfortable at glazing, do not hesitate on using washes or even speed paints to help with your glazing. Washes or even speed paints are quick and easy like fixes so that you blend areas if you don't apply it all over the miniature. So it helps you blend your layering or it could be used as glazes to add more shade to some areas of the mini. Also, do not be afraid if you're like glazing up, painting highlights and you overdid it or you over like you don't like the chalky finish or you simply don't like your layering up or glazing up. Do not be afraid to use the washes to reset your painting a little bit. Once you reset your painting, make it a little bit darker, then you could reapply your highlights. Now, before our final thoughts, I would like to thank all of you guys, my viewers. The channel is growing and of course, my patrons. And special thanks to Army Painter for making this video possible. My final thoughts when it comes to glazing. Well, glazing is a very powerful tool that you could add your arsenal so that you produce better miniatures. However, if you are too dependent on glazing, for example, you did bad layering similar to my previous video, and then you just rely on washes or glazing, it's kind of like, hmm, it will be a bit more time consuming and it's not that efficient. So much like other painting techniques like wet blending or basic layering, glazing is another technique or another way to like complement all these other techniques to produce better miniatures. Much like I always say in my other videos or older videos, do not be too dependent on using one technique or one painting process. We are so spoiled these days because we have access to so many awesome paints and tools to produce better miniatures. Glazing, much like any other painting technique, can be time consuming and one of your like main, main weapon 
to battle this this time consuming process is patience 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 and patience is key to proper blazing that's it pansit i hope you like this video do like subscribe and all that stuff and until my next video guys bye if you like this video do check out these other videos